It was quite exceptional for a woman, in particular a woman of color, to pursue a career in art in the 19th century, especially in the labor-intensive medium of stone carving, and yet Edmonia Lewis succeeded as well as any sculptor at the time. Her sculptures were created in the neoclassical style, but her most important creations emphasize subjects with social significance. For example, this sculpture celebrates the 1863 Emancipation Proclamation. This is meant to be the moment this couple is freed from slavery, her subject matter directly aligned with the abolitionist movement at the time. This work is considered to be Lewis's masterpiece. This monumental sculpture weighing two tons was praised by contemporary critics for its daring expressivity and deemed the most important sculpture in the American section of a famous exposition. Lewis portrays the queen, Cleopatra, alone in her actions immediately preceding her death by suicide. This sculpture is unusual in the canon of neoclassical portrayals of Cleopatra, as it somewhat inelegantly emphasizes the queen slumped in death, instead of the usual romanticized version of a fallen queen. Despite the social and contemporary content of her sculptures, to pursue her career interests, she had to overcome both race and gender issues of the late 19th century. Lewis did this by distancing from her birth country. Instead, she settled in Italy, but still catered to her American clientele. She appealed to the abolitionist mindset and yet softened the features of the African individuals in her work. Lewis's contributions to art and to black history are the subjects of ongoing research today. Her persistence to be an artist in the face of adversity is only one reason to go learn more about Edmonia Lewis. See you next time.